Hello and welcome back. I'm Bebal Joe and this is Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Test and Tutorials. Today, we're going to find out which farm setup is best. Welcome back everyone. So, I did put out a couple threads on Steam and Reddit for Show Me a Farm Layout. Um, I got a great response, there was a lot of good stuff in there. In the end, it wasn't quite what I wanted. A lot of the farm setups were a central farming hub, and then fields just spread around it, so each farm was just like on a corner of where all the fields are. None of the setups that I saw were really a central farm with fields around it. So I figured I'd make my own. And th these are the tests that I set up. And um, I have the farms open here, and right now, too late for sowing, winter is coming. This just means it's before March 3rd. March 3rd is the first date uh, their tractors will go sowing. So that's the first thing. And I have these fields worth 24, why 24? Because I was, am, under the impression that a harvester can harvest up to three large fields a season, if it's set up correctly. It's driving and other things um, that matter there. But up to three. So I have a farm four by eight. This just means four tractors and eight harvesters. Then I have a farm three by nine, it's over here, uh, three tractors, nine harvesters, and a farm th uh, six by six, just six tractors, six harvesters. So I picked 24 because this one seemed like the most realistic one that I've heard works. We'll see how it goes. You should always try to keep multiples of at least one of your vehicles in um, fields, just because like if you have five, five um, tractors and 23 fields, then the tractors will only be busy for part of the time, and then they just won't be. So at least make it so that all your all of your vehicles can be active at the same time. Just that's a little bit of efficiency that you gain. Talking about efficiency, uh, this is the second time I tried this. There was a problem because I skipped forward in time that there was snow on the roads, even though there wasn't snow on the roads. So all the trucks were going only 21 kilometers per hour. You can fix that by turning on and off seasons. And just reloading and when you come back it is it's working again so we are at the beginning of our sowing season tractors will go out now for all the farms i thought i was going to be clever and assign fields in a way that a tractor can come out uh, get the first field done and then jump to the field across from it and that's how i set all of these up the four by eight for example i optimized i optimized all of these for harvesters not for tractors but the way it's set up is Field 1, field 2, field 3, field 4, uh, field 5, field 6, field 7, field 8. So, technically, if a harvester comes in, all 8 harvesters would start on all of these fields at the beginning. And then, uh, the next round would be, um, I think this is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, no, I, I can't count. What am I doing here? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16. Great. So now the tractors are just supposed to come out of their field and just go straight to the next field without driving too much. I did that for all the farms in different manners. Like for here, there's nine fields, so I kind of organized a little different. For here, there's six. And I organized all of them in a little different manner. Turns out it doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't matter for the setup that I have. It does matter if you do have a different setup, and I will tell you what that is. The problem is that a tractor can fit about or can complete about one large field with its fuel tank the one when they start i'll just show you that when they start they start at the farm with just a partial fuel tank and they just make it out to the field and then they start the field and then they're empty but even if they refuel first they will only complete one large field after they complete a field they always go back to the fuel station and refuel they don't go back to the farm they only want to refuel so they go back to the fuel station and they go to the next field. With all that said, it doesn't matter how I lay out or assign all these fields, simply because the distance that is traveled between gas station and, far, uh, and fields, it, there's a total, and you're gonna drive that distance no matter what. You can optimize this a tiny bit, but overall, it's always the same distance. Doesn't matter if a tractor goes to field one first and then to field seven, or if it goes to field one and field 13 or wherever. The path that you have on the road is always the same. Like the length is always the same, so that has to be done. What you can do is optimize this by giving more refueling options uh, closer to fields. 
because then they only have to go to that gas station and go back to the field that's next. Then it matters. Then you can actually gain a lot of efficiency when you assign them manually. If you have it set up like I do, which honestly is my basic setup, I always have a fuel station near the farm in the center of all the fields. This is just not great for uh, efficiency because of the reasons I just told you. Which also means you don't have to set up the fields like I did here, where they just face each other away from the farm. You, every field is essentially an individual path the way this is set up. The way you can improve this, and all the field setups are the same, the, the way you can improve this is by putting a fuel station in the clusters, or in the middle of clusters, of your fields. That means you have to supply power to those fuel stations, which that can be a pain, but you can do it. And I may try that um, as one of the tests that we do today, I'm not sure yet. But you just put a substation here and a substation here and then two fuel stations in range of that substation and that is all great. Does that mean you have to put one of the vanilla fuel stations everywhere? I don't know. But let me tell you, the smaller fuel stations you have, if you supply your own fuel, are a pain because they only hold one tank, one vehicle tank full of fuel. And when that runs out, there needs to be a fuel tank or a fuel tanker that can actually get to it. But usually you have other vehicles waiting to be fueled at the gas station. They may have fixed that, um, that part where vehicles don't go to a fuel station if there's no fuel, but it has caused me issues in the past. So just make sure when you place a fuel station that has at least two full um, tanker capacities for fuel. Just a little side note. So you can optimize this that way. I haven't done that here. It's just set up the way it is. Um, the other thing, maybe for the setup, all the um, distribution offices are set up to pick up from 12 fields on their side of the farm and drop them off in this um, silo area. I set it up this way just because you need, for 24 fields, if all of them could be harvested, you need eight, um, 7,200 tons of storage, which is... 10 silos at 90% um, capacity because the DOs only go on 90%. So just keep that in mind, 7,200, that is 10. I put 12 here because it looks prettier. That's the only reason. Um, the setup is the same everywhere. Um, we're auto buying fuel. The trucks are all the same. We are in 1961, so these are just the Skodas. That's the first um, Skoda 706. They're fine. That's why we only have gravel road. The road itself is only important for your trucks. Your harvesters and sowers, so tractors and combines will only go, they could run on mud roads and it will be fine. They can't go above 35 miles per hour. So just keep that in mind. The roads are only for your distribution offices. Hey, just checking in. So we are pretty, pretty well on the way. And there's one thing I didn't actually know until I ran this test, well, the first half, the first time for the first half that there is a time where you stop sowing, and I'm looking for that time when I think it's about to happen because I know this field is not gonna get done. This tractor is supposed to do that field. So I wanna keep an eye on the tractor and I wanna tell you exactly what day of the year sowing stops. And we should see the no more sowing because winter message over here. May 31st is the day you stop sowing. And it's a little funny because if you see, this tractor is not on the field yet, but he's still going to sow because he already received its instructions from the last stop that he had. The last stop was the gas station. So this tractor is going over here. That's the guy. Hey, guy. Hey, little tractor. Um, just coming over here. Nobody's sitting in the, in the chair. Just don't worry about that. And when he's done fueling and gets new instructions, the new instructions are, hey, it's too late to sow, so come home. That's what he's going to do. And that is totally fine. But that is something I didn't realize seasons did. I thought you'd just sow until everything is sown. And then just whatever you don't get to during the year is just lost. But no, there's a day you stop sowing, which is May 31st. I thought it was later even than that. So let's take a quick um, gander around our farms and see how we're doing. Because nobody is going to sow anymore. We'll just go to the bottom. And this is important. I think this is important. The 6x6 agro farm, that one field that I showed you, is not sown. Um, if you optimize your fuel stations, your gas stations, you can definitely sow this. I can guarantee you can get to this one. I think you can even get another round, so you can get to 30 fields. 
I don't want to try that right now, but someone can if you want to. So yeah, optimize your fueling can give you another extra round of sowing because it takes away the distance of farming. And all you have to do is be on the way to sowing before May 31st. That's all. So there's one field missing here on the three by nine agro farm. So I don't know if you said, if I said that this is one to one ratio, this is a one to three ratio and a two to one ratio for tractors to harvesters. Those are the only ratios I felt were reasonable to play with. So that's what they are on the three by nine. We see a expected picture really because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten fields out of twenty-four aren't sown. So three tractors were able to sow fourteen fields. There's again one tractor that is short that's not working right now because fifteen should be the number that they could get to. So you missed one. Again, you can get at least one more if you optimize your fuel path. I think. I'm I'm pretty sure you can. Then the last one over here. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one is missing eight fields, which means 16 are being worked on, which also means every tractor is working right now. And we have done 16 fields or four fields per tractor, which is great. And I'm just saying, or earlier I was saying you can at least get one more round of fields if you do the, um, the fuel optimization. I'm not a hundred percent sure because sowing a field takes really long. It takes like a month. It's not exactly a number, but that's what it feels like. It takes about a month. And you definitely get the one tractor that's not working right now. But I think this is the max that you can get to simply because they still have to finish this field. And it's going to take a while. The three times that they drove between gas station and field, I don't think equals a full field. So maybe this is the max. Maybe every tractor that we have right now, these tractors are... If you're wondering, these are the first one, the T28s, can do up to four fields a season. I think that's good. To, four large fields a season. That's There's a distinction. I let this run. We are August 5th, which is the first day the fields are reaching 100%. A couple uh, tidbits on that. The fields grow by day. I think I mentioned that earlier, maybe. So every day you just grow a certain percentage. That percentage for a large field is 0.76%. It's always the same. So to grow a large field takes 131 in-game days. Maybe that matters. One thing I wanted to address, I only have two distribution offices here. They have 12 trucks each. And each distribution office is only responsible for 12 fields. Personally, I think a distribution office is very expendable. So if I need more trucks, I'll add more distribution offices and set it up so that they can actually carry everything because I am not too worried about the return on the investment, the ROI. I care about that everything gets collected and goes into the silos before, uh, before the winter. It's all I care about because over time, I believe whatever you invest in your farms, if you play long enough, you will make your money back. Doesn't matter how you got there, there is a certain level, but I'm not worried about that. So that's why I only have two distribution offices set up here. The only thing that limits your distribution office is the 20 slots that you can assign to it. So if you have too many fields, you will need to add more distribution offices just to cover the fields. But I don't think that's a problem here. A quick cut in. Um, here we had the three tractors and the nine harvesters. It looks like when the first field is about uh, two thirds to three quarters harvested, the next field becomes available for harvest. So there are at least going to be six harvesters active at the time. I don't think I'm going to get nine active at the same time because these are the next fields. And I would think whenever these are done uh, harvesting, these may show up for, uh, for availability for harvest or, or grown 100%. So that's a note there. Over here we have the 4x8. Same thing. These are currently just starting and these are about two thirds to three quarter done. So just keep that in mind. So a one to three ratio fields off. I do have eight harvesters active here now, and I think we can keep eight harvesters active pretty easy. But here, of course, it's a problem that all the outside fields are not sown. So they can only go to two fields each, which honestly is probably a, an okay ratio. But that's where we are. We just need faster tractors to so be able to get to the outside ones. So four tractors could only 
Um, so 16 fields, that's four fields each, which is not terrible at all. Three to nine here, similar problem, obviously. We only have a few fields to go. So I, I don't think this one is worth doing. One to three ratio is way too high. Six, six to six is doing really well because we have all six tractors going. The next fields are already done. Now that may be a problem because we have fields done and we don't have tractors, uh, harvesters available to go to those fields. So there's going to be time lost because the next round of fields is going to be done soon again. So maybe a one-to-one -one ratio is not great for the harvesting, but it's definitely great for getting more fields done. So there's a trade-off, definitely. And on the collection, it looks like all of these are just about one full truckload uh, always available on the field. And the distribution office just has all the trucks going out and it looks like it's it's a pretty straightforward collection. There's not much being lost and I don't think there will be a bigger chance to lose something. However, once you're in November, November 4th is when it gets cold enough where you start losing crops that are on the field uncollected. So if you don't have a truck waiting there, that's a problem. I should have done this before, but I'm just following my harvesters. It looks like each harvester is also taking at least a full fuel tank to finish a field. But in the 4x8 farm, the fields are not growing fast enough that they could go from the field that they just were on to the next field. So, yeah. That's not really working out like I wanted it to, meaning all harvesters are going back to the farm for at least a little while. But they will also fill up with fuel, so the efficiency is not that much of a problem here. Nobody seems to have problems with picking up the crops as they come in, so that's that's been good so far. Over here, on the 6x6 farm, however, as you can see, the fields are only halfway done on this side, but there are already six more fields ready to go. The first snow is falling November 24th. There is 12 more days of harvest, of possible harvest. And there is a thing that I overlooked. There are no technical services around here that can clear the snow. That's a problem. So I'll pause real quick. And set those up it is december 3rd and the amount of crops that go into the trucks has slowed down dramatically which means how, um, a lot of the crops will already be disappearing before they get to the truck which i found is a cool mechanic but we're almost done with all of these fields the distribution office has most trucks waiting in the distribution office there are only six trucks out here that are waiting and i'm expecting them to just hang out until the vehicles are gone and there we go december 5th everything got turned off all the vehicles are home i i actually didn't ever see that before but everything that's black had some crops left well, not black but brown and all the vehicles will just go home which means we just let all the trucks drop off the rest and then we have a tally i just took some time to make sure that all the trucks are back to the distribution offices they are which means everything was dropped off Let's start here at the 6x6 farm. We have the three silos and just tally it up. 3x9, 4x8, farm 1, which is 3x9, 3,048 tons of crops. The farm 2, 4x8, is 4,288 tons of crops. And the 6x6 six six is 4,486 tons of crops. That was the first test. The other test I wanted to do was something I heard which sounds like it makes a lot of sense. Let me stop all these guys. Um, I skip forward a little bit in time. March 3rd, remember, is the day that we can actually start sowing. So let's get this done before then. Someone mentioned once that you can gain a lot of efficiency by allowing your harvesters Oh, sorry, by allowing your farms to sow a couple medium fields first. Don't do the small ones, but the medium fields, if you sow them first, um, should allow your tractors to be done faster with the first field. The first field will then become available for your um, harvesters to harvest sooner, and so on. I don't know what the right number is. To do that but what i want to do is set them up like this just get your medium fields out and just replace all uh, the large fields that we just tore down with three medium fields because 
They are technically equivalent in yield. They should do the exact same thing uh, production-wise. So we'll see how this works out. I'll do this for all farms and I'll be back. All the fields are in and I'm going to do something a tiny bit different than before. All of this is still paused. I will remove all the fields. And because we already established that you can optimize the large fields if you place a gas station near the clusters of the field so you can actually refuel, I will only um, optimize the assignment of the fields in the middle. Everything else can just be random because they will always have to go back to this point anyways where the gas station is and then fuel up. So the way we're going to do this, this is the six by six, is have each tractor, so, well, tractor or harvester doesn't matter. But I'm going to start from, eh, honestly, it doesn't matter. Outside in means these three fields should start at the same time. Outside in. That one is wrong. Um, so we did one, two, three, four, five, six. That means we have to go in the same order next. So the tra tractor from here or the harvester from here can jump right to the other side. In this case, their, um, their fuel tank should be enough to actually cover the jump to the other field. And then they have to refuel or can go to the next field. Doesn't really matter how it's assigned. But I'm going to let the rest be assigned automatically. There's a chance there's a small optimization you can do here when a tractor from here and here can jump to this field or this field is about the same distance. Maybe that will happen. Maybe it won't. I don't think it changes much of the outcome. I just, we saw that you can't optimize it. The farms are not set up to be optimized that way. So I don't want to get too far into it. One thing I do want to point out that is different than the previous year. Earlier, I purchased the, all the vehicles, put them in the farm, and they didn't have a fuel full fuel tank. However, they did make it to the first field with that fuel tank, and then that field will drain the fuel tank regardless, and they would have to go back. This time, they have a, fuel, a full fuel tank because they came from the previous year, which means they have a better chance of being efficient in running between these fields. It does make a difference, because in the first instance, they would have used a full fuel tank regardless, which they also did. And in this instance, they have a fuel tank, full fuel tank to start with to actually um, sow all the fields. So that's the difference for, between this test and the previous test. It looks like the tractors are now only using about a third of their tank to do the medium fields, which makes sense from a size, but now they can go from the field that they were on to the next field without going to refuel. Another quick tidbit, which I didn't actually realize, but it totally makes sense. The growing percentage is the same for each field. It's 0.76%, so it's 131 days until a field is done after it's done sowing. However, because they're medium fields, they are done sowing earlier, which is why they're ready earlier. So our first day of harvest is 21st of July compared to August 5th. So we have about two weeks extra time to harvest our crops, which I think is great. What I don't know yet, and I will get back to you on that, is how long it takes to harvest one field. If we get all three of these fields, all 12 of these fields harvested, before August 5th, we essentially got one free large field just by build, making the small, uh, the medium fields work. So let's see how that goes. Okay, we're just wrapping up the first round of fields and it takes just that amount that we had, the two weeks. August 5th was the earliest start day. Now we can start the second field on August 3rd. So we're close to the cutoff date and this is where we are. The three by nine farm is done harvesting everything. Everything that was sowed was harvested. The six by six farm has started harvesting the last six fields. These two fields are not sowed. And it looks like they're gonna get halfway done. The four by eight farm is actually finishing um, some of the large fields and almost completing the harvest for them. Probably losing some, but not a lot. So that's I found that was interesting. I think at least the 6x6 farm actually got one extra field to harvest this time than in the last iteration. So that's to keep in mind. But we're almost at December 5th and we will take a tally once everything is in. 3x9, 4x8 farm, 6x6. Totals. The 3x9 total is 2,940 for the setup with the medium fields. 
for the 4x8, it's 4,300, also set up for the medium fields, and the 6x6 is 5,008, all in tons. Okay, let's talk about what this means. I'm a little surprised, but not really. I ran some numbers, and until today, I believed that the 4x8 setup, setup is the best farm setup that you can have. The 4x8 has a maximum field output of, if you just do large, 16 large fields, or, and that is two fields per harvester, or if you add the 12 medium fields like I have it here, you can go up to 24 fields where you have 12 large and 12 medium fields. That works. For the six by six, you can get 23 fields in a normal setup of all large fields or 30 fields if you combine the fields, which is still 12 small fields and 18 large fields. What does this tell me? Well, the four by eight farm harvests almost everything that's available, 95% of all crops get collected. The six by six farm only collects 75% of crops, but it collected almost two and a half fields more. What's the best setup? It depends on your space. Do you have space for 30 fields? You can get about 5,000 tons of crops out of those 30 fields. Do you only have space for about 24 fields? Then you can get 4,300 tons of crops out of those fields and you can use less tractors all of this changes if you use different machinery because you should speed up the process which means you can sow more fields or you can harvest more fields in the same amount of time that's great however the 4x8 since it already collects 95 percent of the yield does not have a lot of room to grow if you increase or if you improve the machinery, you're probably going to harvest 100% of the 4,800 that are available, but that is still less than the maximum of the 6x6 farm potential. On the 6x6 farm, if you have more vehicles, you can actually get the 6,600 tons of crops eventually. I'm assuming because the tractors that we use are not very great, the harvesters that we use can also be better. Honestly, I would say use either or. I wouldn't worry about the three to nine. The one to three ratio does not work, period. But the other ratios work. A tractor can sow two medium fields and up to three large fields in a season. And a harvester can do the same thing. They can do, they can harvest two medium fields and up to three large fields. And that is your lot. What did we learn? A one to two ratio works, but it's already very optimized. If that's all you have room for, definitely go for it. That is 24 fields, 12 large and 12 medium sized fields. It works, you don't have to optimize much. You can get up to 95% without trying and you can probably get 100% with better machines. That's a good setup, it works, but you can get more out of the same setup by just using one to one ratio for tractor to harvester. A tractor can sow a little more than a harvester can um, harvest, but the way seasons works, it doesn't matter because you have a cutoff date, but you have to be done sowing. So your one to one has a lot higher potential to increase your yield with better machines. The one to two does not, it's already done. So I will go forward using the one to one ratio uh, with this setup with 30 fields that will be sown and we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use one or two medium fields per harvester, I think I like the two. Uh, it seems to work, but there's also an argument to be made that one may be enough. Let me recap all the things that I learned in this test specifically. First, all your farm vehicles will refuel uh, in between fields without going to the farm. So you can gain some efficiency by putting uh, strategic fuel stations on your um, farm network. Two, you start sowing on March 3rd. That's the first day you can sow, that's when they leave the farm. Um, a tractor and a harvester use a full tank for each large field, but about half a tank to a third of a tank per medium field, which means they can usually do a medium field and then go to the next field. If that's a medium or a large field, doesn't matter, but they can't do a large field and go to the next field. They will do a large field, fuel up, next field. 
So keep that in mind when you do your setup. That's a good um, thinking for using one medium field instead of two, because you finish the first medium field and you go to the next large field. It has to be sewn already, though. That's that's one of the issues. It may work out. I think actually it will. But someone may try that out and let me know. Every field takes about 131 and a half days to grow because the growth rate is always 0.76% each day. That's always the same, doesn't matter what size your field is. The thing that's different is the time it takes to sow a field. So just keep that in mind. The smaller the field is, the earlier it's done sowing. That's why you want to put the small fields in front of the season and the large fields at the end. Each harvester and tractor can get a medium field done and then go to the next field without refueling. Could mean that you can just assign alternating fields for each tractor, um, regardless of your field si or of your farm size. You can always just assign one medium field, or if you have six tractors, that's how you would assign it. You assign six medium fields, then you assign six large fields, then you assign six medium fields, and then you assign six, lar six large fields. We're now at 24. I think there's a chance that you may get another round of six medium fields and six large fields. Now this only works if a tractor can finish sowing fast enough so by the time the harvester is done with the first field, the second field is fully grown. Otherwise this doesn't matter at all. So that's something someone may, maybe uh, can try out and let me know how that works. I hope you know what I was trying to explain here. That would be great if you let anyone else know down in the comments. I'm looking forward to that. December 5th is the day where your fields get destroyed, where whatever's on there is not going to be harvested anymore. You're just going to take everything back to your silos. And the last one, May 30th is the last day you can issue sowing instructions. As long as your tractor is on the way to the field, it will sow the field. If it is May 31st and the instructions haven't been given yet, it will go back, go back to the farm. And that's it. Yeah, I really hope you guys learned something. If you did, like and subscribe. If you didn't, let me know what you would do differently. Maybe do your own farm test. I know a couple of you already have done that through the forum posts that I posted. Uh, thanks for participating. That was great. I got a lot of info out of that. I just felt like I wanted to do a little more on a little different scale. So this is what came out of that. Again, I hope you all enjoyed it. This was a lot of work to get to this point. Hope you gained some information from it. I know I did. Um, I will use this setup probably from here on out. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been great to have you here. And I hope you watched it all the way to the end. I know there's a lot of stuff going on. But that's all I have. Thanks for sticking around. Bye.